Schools all over the state are closed for the time being, leaving children who rely on schools for meals hungry. As Darwin Singleton reports, one nonprofit is jumping to fill the void months ahead of schedule. We're going to increase serving by as much as 50%. At the headquarters of Feeding the Gulf Coast, employees and volunteers are gearing up to start their summer feeding program well before the end of the school year. Because of the coronavirus, kids are now at home, and many might go hungry, but not if they can help it. They all have to have five components, which is a whole grain item, um, their protein. They have to have a vegetable, a fruit component, and a milk. Head chef Christine Bowling tells me they'll be preparing 2,000 of these grab-and-go lunches per day available free at 30 locations. Make sure you're taking your kids to these locations. Swing by. That's what it's for. Any kid under 18, no questions. So we have to make sure that we're providing children with that access and also alleviating parents so they don't have to purchase all that additional food. Now remember, even as they're feeding children along the Gulf Coast, they're also trying to continue to supply different agencies in the area with food. And even the way they do that has changed. Dan Emery is the food bank's director. We're doing the social distancing. We're uh, practicing really good food safety. We took all the chairs out of the lobby so people can't congregate. We're trying to think of all the little things as we go, and this is uncharted territory for all of us. It's a massive task, but made easier if we all pitch in with donations of food, dollars, and volunteers. In Mobile, Darwin Singleton, NBC 15 News. We have a link to the list of those 30 locations under the Find It section of our website. You can also call the number right there at the bottom of your screen. Elsewhere, Mobile County Public Schools will start its feeding program tomorrow. The district will hand out bagged lunches at 66 sites throughout the county for free. The program will run as long as schools are out, but the child must be present to receive food. Yesterday, we told you Prodigy Pantry in Baldwin County announced it will hold an emergency food distribution next week. Tuesday from noon to 9, families can pick up food at the pantry. All you need to prove is that you live in Baldwin County.